students welcome back to rosy maths class in today's video we shall do question number 2 that is given on page number 264 of ganit prakash this is for class 6 last chapter the other side of zero so question number 2 has three grids that we are going to solve the question is complete the grids to make the required border sum this is the first grid and the border sum for this is plus 4 the border sum is plus 4 now let's start with the top row minus 10 easy way to do is use zeros and opposite numbers like for example here minus 10 is there if i put a 10 here okay minus 10 plus 10 makes it zero right minus 10 plus 10 makes it zero so now we got a zero and what do we need we need plus 4 here right so we will just add a 4 here now see minus 10 plus 10 0 0 plus 4 is 4 okay that is done now this column the right column 4 plus minus 5 this minus 1 and we need plus 4 so if i add plus 5 here minus 1 plus 5 that will be 4 right minus 1 plus 5 is 4 so i will add a 5 here or you can think of it like this minus 5 we want to cancel out minus 5 because the answer should be plus 4 so 4 is already there minus 5 just take the same number with opposite sign minus 5 plus 5 makes it 0 and then 4 now we will take the bottom row 9 blank space and 5 so 9 plus something plus 5 should give me positive 4 or plus 4 right 9 plus 5 is 14 So if I do here minus ten, fourteen plus minus ten is equal to four, right? So I will fill up minus ten here. There is a systematic way of filling it up. Now what is left? The left column minus ten plus something plus nine should give you four. First calculate minus ten plus nine is minus one. Now what do I add here to get four? obviously that's going to be 5 right so i will put a 5 here now you can just add up and check 9 plus 5 14 14 plus minus 10 4 this one also same thing see 9 5 minus 10 this one 0 plus 4 and then 0 plus 4 we have solved the first grid now we will be solving the second grid now this is the second grid here top row we already have 6 8 right column minus 5 and bottom row we have minus 2 the border sum is given as minus 2 we must get minus 2 when we add the borders let's start with the top row 6 plus 8 plus something should give you minus 2 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus what number shall i add it has to be a bigger number so that i get the minus sign so that is going to be minus 16 14 plus minus 16 is minus 2. So this is minus 16. Next we will take minus 16 minus 5 and we will fill up this blank. That is easy. Minus 16 plus minus 5 plus something should give me minus 2. So first add up 16 plus 5 is minus 21. So minus 21 plus if I do 19 because I want a minus sign. So this number is bigger. Twenty one is big number. Minus twenty one plus nineteen will give minus two. To solve this grid easily, you should be very good with the addition of integers. Answer is nineteen. Now we will take the bottom row. I started with top row, right column, and now bottom row. Okay, go in order so it will be easy for you to do it. Now we will be solving the bottom row. In the bottom row, we have already minus two and nineteen, right? So minus two is the border sum. So same number we want, right? So if I can somehow uh, eliminate this number, and how can I do that? Just adding by the negative of this. So I can simply put here minus nineteen. Minus nineteen plus nineteen becomes zero, and zero plus minus two is minus two. So that is easy, right? Now the left column. The left column we have six plus blank plus minus nineteen. First we will calculate this. 
6 minus 19. So that will be minus 13. What do I add to this to get minus 2? Because I want the minus sign, right? So here I have to put a smaller number. That would be 11. Now you can add and see. 6 plus 11 is 17. 17 plus minus 19 is minus 2. And here this row minus 19 plus 19 becomes positive. Sorry, becomes 0. 0 plus minus 2 is minus 2. And this one already we did 14 minus 16 minus 2. And this one again you can just calculate and see that if you are getting the border sum as minus 2 or not. Now moving on to the next grid. The third grid is this one where we have 7 here and minus 5 here. And the border sum is given as minus 4. So we will start from the top row. So I will use the same technique 7. If I do minus 7, 7 plus minus 7 0. And I want minus 4. So I will just put a minus 4 here. Top row done. Now we will do the right column. Now you see here minus 4 is there. Whenever you have the same number here and as the border sum. Just take whatever number you have and add it with the opposite sign. Like minus 5 is here. So if you add 5. Minus 5 plus 5 becomes 0. 0 plus minus 4 is minus 4. So this is an easy trick that you can follow. Now we have a 5 here. So if I add say I can take any number. Let's say I take 3. Okay. 5 plus 3 8. And if I do 8 plus minus 12. That will give me minus 4. So I will take minus 12 here. Because nothing was there. So I could take anything I wanted. Now next left column. So what is given? 7 plus blank plus minus 12. First calculate 7 plus minus 12. So this will become basically 7 minus 12 which is minus 5. We are getting minus 5 and we want minus 4. So minus 5 plus 1. Okay. Minus 5 plus 1 gives minus 4. So this will be 1. Now let us check 7 plus 1 8. 8 plus minus 12 minus 4. Okay. And here 5 plus 3 8 minus 12 plus 8 is minus 4. Here this becomes 0. So minus 4. This becomes 0. So minus 4. So we are done with question number 2.